Hola mis amores, how are we? How are we doing today? Hola, hi, how are you guys? Uh, for today's dish, I've made this maybe like three times already. I'm super excited to make it again, especially on camera. Um, el lo que voy a hacer hoy es algo que ya que esta vez va a ser mi tercera vez haciéndolo. We're gonna be playing with some chicken. Uh, we're gonna be making. Uh, give me a second. Thai chicken saute. At least that's what it said on Pinterest. We're gonna, uh, what's it called, glaze this chicken, this beautiful, beautiful chicken breast that we're gonna be playing with today. Um, it's gonna be fantastic, girl. It's gonna be phenomenal. We're gonna have a great motherfucking time. But before we begin, let me just tell you that I actually found this recipe on Pinterest. I will be linking down the, uh, the description. I will link the description down. Give me a second. I will post the link on the description box down below. There we go. Thank you, sister, you caught yourself real good. I'm gonna follow the recipe recipe for the most part, but I'm just gonna add more. I'm just gonna triple it. Um, but with that being said, let's get started. All right, we're putting you on this side today because homework, I'm breaking the fuck out. So um, this is my good side. This is my good side right now, so we're gonna keep you on this side for today. Uh, but we're gonna start with our beautiful, thick slices of chicken breast, baby. You know that we're gonna play with that nice, beautiful, look at that glossy, glossy, baby, yes. So, lo que vamos a comenzar, los voy a comenzar a partir en casi cuadritos. Um, I'm gonna be part, uh, what's it called, cutting them um, kind of into like squares. Um, I'd say this is kind of a good cut. I don't know if this is actually a good cut. I don't really know, I never want to call this crop, I'm just doing this as I go. So this is of a thick, nice cut that you kind of want to go for. Like, it's not too thick, it's not too thin. You want to keep it around the same shape, same size. We're going to do cubes. I don't know why I do cubes, but honestly, for me, that was just it. So this is kind of like what we're, the shape that we're looking for. Okay, mis amores, we're going to continue with the marinade. Vamos a continuar con la marinada. I think that's what you call it. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Lo que tengo aquí is, what I have right here, it's going to be, uh, what is it? Uh, it is a whole... Half a cup of brown sugar. Now, uh, this is brown sugar press, so really when you put it on the measuring cup or if you're trying to measure it, press it down because it is very, uh, what's it called? It's very esponjoso, so you really have to pat it down. Here I have a mixture of ginger, onion powder, uh, basil, and turmeric. All right, let's start. All right, so we're gonna be adding our soy sauce, so we're gonna start off with, now I like to make my marinade, uh, I like to drown my chicken in the marinade. Uh, I feel like that maybe that's the, kind of the best way to get the flavor. All right, let's start off with only half a cup of the soy sauce for now, just because I feel like that was a lot of soy sauce. All right, and then we're gonna throw in our spices into the marinade also. Next, we're gonna add our fish oil, or sorry, fish sauce. So you're gonna add about, it's just, one and a half tablespoons, but I honestly, you just kind of just, I don't know. I never really follow the measurements sometimes. Sometimes I go a little overboard, but that's because it's, you know, your own personal preference. So we're gonna mix that into it. We're gonna add our lime. Now we're gonna mix it. Looks so beautiful. Nice. Then you're gonna add our chili piece. I totally forgot almost. Okay. Now this is on, on, honestly, it's over, like I say, it's to your per own personal preference. Um, sometimes people like it a little, a little bit on the spicy side. I know I definitely like to eat stuff on the spicy side just because I'm a spicy kind of girl. We're gonna add, I'm gonna start off with two big, two good mid size spoonful of that chili paste, mix it in. Trust me, the, this marinade is delicious. I promise you we're gonna have a ball. We only cook good shit here, bitch. All right, so here we have our marinade. Now, I haven't tried it at all, so we're gonna taste test this baby, see if it's a Danny approved baby, chef boy or Danny. Yes, queen, let's do it. Actually want to add a little bit more of the brown sugar to it. So this is the time where you actually start experimenting and start adding. See if you like it. See if it's if it's missing something. I think it's always important to check your food. But at the same time, we're gonna add that 
extra brown sugar in there. I'm actually gonna add more chili paste just because we're spicy kind of gals. Let's do it. And as far as like the ginger, the turmeric, and the onion powder, garlic powder, I should say. I'm sorry. Um, actually, it was pretty, pretty okay, pretty decent. Same with the with the basil. All right, let's try it again. Oof, that's what we're talking about. Hell yeah, girl. Mm-hmm. Bitch, you are right. Oh, amazing. Right, ladies. Now we have our chicken. This is our chicken, the one that. We're gonna marinate, uh, marinate, this is the one that we had prepped earlier. We're gonna drown this baby into it, girl. Look at that. Oh. We didn't come here to play, girl. We came here to slay. Look at that, oof. Oof, baby. Let's go. Now this is what I mean when I say I like to drown my chicken because I really want it for it to sit and marinate as much as possible. I want every single piece of chicken to be dripping in this sauce, baby. This is what we're aiming for. This is what we came here to do. No side shall be left unturned, bitch. Throw that bad boy in there. Oof, look how beautiful she is. Just sitting on this fucking marinade, girl. Now, we're actually gonna marinate. This is one of the dishes that you actually have to prep for. Um, I apologize. Uh, this is, we're actually gonna sit here and marinate this. Um, it is, Papa, what time is it? It is 1.52. 1.52, so it's about two o'clock. Um, we're gonna come back home. I'm gonna get home really late today because uh, I have sessions to do today and I also have to go to the gym right after. But we're gonna let this, we're gonna let this chicken ma marinate into this beautiful sauce, bitch, because let me tell you, at the end, we're gonna have a fucking ball. We're gonna do a little bit of white Spanish rice. Uh, we're gonna have such a fantastic time. Uh, but so with that being said, we're gonna pop this, uh, we're gonna cover this bad boy with some saran wrap. We're gonna throw this baby in the fridge and we're gonna let this juice do its thing. And then we'll be back in a couple hours. Hola, mis amores. Welcome de regreso. Welcome back. Uh, so it's been 28 hours. I know I was supposed to do this last night, but girl, shit happens. I have shit to do. Um, but it's been 28, wait, 26? So what's up? 24? 25, 26, 26, 28. It's been about 20, 28 and a half hours that we've been marinating <laughs> this chicken, girl. Uh, so it's been really been sitting in the juices. Look how pretty she looks. Look how glamorous she looks. Look at that gloss, baby. Yes, give it to us, bitch. Um, so we're gonna prep this bitch because we're gonna have a fucking ball, bitch. We're gonna have a good time. It's amazing. It's a great day to be alive, bitch. Okay, so here is my pan. What I'm gonna start doing is uh, I'm gonna cover my pan with butter. I don't know why I'm doing this, but to be honest with you, this is just what I do. Um, you can use parchment paper or you can use, uh, what's it called, uh, aluminum, but if you do use aluminum, I suggest you cover it also. These are some skewers that I bought at, at Food for Less. They've been sitting in the water for the past uh, 20 minutes or, or so. Alright, so next we're going to prep our skewer. So, here we have our beautiful skewer, and now we're going to grab one of our beautiful thick slices of chicken breast, and we're just going to throw that in there. Just be careful, girl, that you do not... Cut your, uh, poke yourself, cause it ain't gonna be cute, girl. Look at that beauty, beautiful. Look at that. So this is what we're, this, this is what we're gonna do. So this fits about one, two, three, four, four slices per skewer. You obviously want to leave a little bit of uh, room so that you can able to grab it. So we're gonna just place those on here, and we're gonna do that for the rest of this. All right, so here I have a tray, a complete, aquí tengo un um, tray completo. See how we have social distance each one of these, just like y'all should be doing at the market. Uh, we're gonna social distance these bad boys up and look how beautiful, nicely, and glossy they look. Now we're gonna take some of that juice, because we do have leftover juice, this is only one tray that we've done, and we're gonna give them a final coat before we send them off to the oven. Boom, 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 look at this bad boy. Mm-hmm, yes ma'am. I'm gonna send you off with some flavor, baby. Yes, yeah, steady. Mm-hmm. Bad bitch is only here. Oh, sorry. 
Thick bitches on here, girl. All right, I'm gonna send these off. I'm gonna complete our next tray. Now, one thing though, um, you don't actually have to wait uh, 26 hours, I mean, sorry, 28 hours the way like I did to marinate the chicken. Um, honestly, it just takes six minutes, sorry, six minutes, six hours, uh, six hours to sit there, marinate, and you'll be fine. Um, but obviously, I <laughs> I waited 26 hours. So, I was gonna do um, fried rice for this video, but I saw Uncle Roger's video, and then, uh, and I was like, yeah, no, never mind, I should not do that. Uh, I don't wanna. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of camera, so we're gonna do a, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Um, we're gonna actually do some a little bit of Spanish white rice, or at least I that's what we call it. Um, it's usually just like a standard white rice with vegetables, but then we add some beautiful ass flavor. All right, so let me see, let me see. Our skewer skewer look cute. Oh shit, look cute and delighted to see us. How is she? She looks gorgeous. Looks beautiful. Look at her. Look at her. Yes, queen. Uh, All right, ladies. Taste test, bitch. All right, so here I made myself some beautiful ass um, creamy sriracha. I'm gonna spit it like last time because you remember most of them. Y'all remember that incident? Um, so yeah, here I made myself some creamy sriracha, and then here I have my arroz, and I have my what's it called? My skewers. Um, let me get, let me get a fork around. I don't know what was I thinking. All right. Let's start with the arroz. So this is the Spanish rice. I don't really know this is Spanish rice. This is what I fucking call Spanish rice, though. So. Mm-hmm. Bitch, you know what cook right here. What the fuck? You, would you ever doubt me, bitch? No. The answer is no. You're correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice cooking. It is cooked. All right. On to the pot. Um, the skewers. You know demo that we were gonna pair up some chicken with no fucking dipping sauce? And I wasn't gonna use ranch because, well, I'm looking gonna use ranch, but it's gonna be after camera, bitch, so I won't get judged. If you know me, you know damn well that every time I go to a sushi restaurant, I ask for like double because I love spicy meal. So it was hella dope that I learned how to make the recipe. But look, our skewers, baby, they smell so beautiful. And they are beautiful, bitch, because they were made by me, girl. All right, let's dip this in. You know, we did that shit. Mm-hmm. Fuck that sister. What the fuck? So good, bitch. Oh my god. Fuck that. It's mm. Let me pull one that's open. So you can see this beautiful, juicy tenderness. See how we did it? How it's not pink, bitch? No. My chicken does not come out pink. So fucking good. Mmm. Final thoughts. We did fucking amazing, sister. That shit was delicious. It was beautiful. It was nutritious. Um, hella bomb. Hella good. The chicken was nice and um, nice and juicy. I was scared that it was gonna kind of drop in the oven because sometimes like the oven be playing games with you, girl. Um, so the, the good thing is that the chicken was nice and beautiful and it was juicy. Um, as far as the seasoning goes. Delish, bitch. We did an amazing fucking job. And then, so far as the rest goes, of course, bitch, we came to your slay, girl. But with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching another video. Thank you guys so much for all the new subscribers. Please leave any likes, comments, any just uh, comments down below. Um, let me know if you try out this recipe. If you do, tag me on that shit, girl. You know damn well that I want to see the shit that you're cooking. Uh, with that being said, follow, uh, not follow, mm, sorry. Watch the other videos up here that I'm gonna post up for you guys. One right here, the other one right there. Remember to subscribe right here, baby. And then, we'll see each other next time.